sisters how y'all doing today y'all ready because i'm ready let's roll the clip come on oh come on in what you looking around the corner for come on in here come on in let's do this Come on in here. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with who? This hood girl to the hood. Hey, husters. Y'all saw what we was eating? Y'all have never seen me eat pork steaks, but I saw some on sale and I bought them. So here it is. And these yeast rolls. But let's say prayers. So let's toast and let's get it in while it's still hot. Okay? Bow your heads. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, for this a new, blessed, awesome day. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for ordering our footsteps in your word. Oh, thank you for forgiveness and love. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And for those who are looking up on me right now, I pray that you will be with them that you will comfort them, that you will guide them, that you will love them. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. There you have it, y'all. Yes. Ain't God good? Yes, he is. Let's toast. For a good evening, whatever you're doing, just love. Honey, we're we going to talk about something today, I think. I think. I think. Yeah, <laughs> so salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good hood stuff. Cheers, y'all. Let me carefully invite you to this food plate. There you go, y'all. We have the steak here. We have seasoned rice. We have green beans with Zumo sausage. And we have some yeast rolls right here. And y'all, I found this butter at the store. I was actually talking to another customer. And, you know, I told her uh, 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 the butter that I like. Um, and I saw this Land Lakes with honey butter. And I was kind of excited. I said, let me buy some because I knew I was going to be doing some rolls tonight, y'all. I got bread on my mind. So let's open this up and put it on these rolls while they still warm. I've never had this butter. Smart Balance is my butter. Period. I use Smart Balance on everything. Sometimes I do buy, uh, I don't, I can't believe it's butter. But I buy Smart balanced butter more than any butter. Period. So, y'all, I'm going to put this on both of these because I, I plan on eating. Th these are good and, and hot, too, y'all. So, yeah, let's... I don't know what this butter tastes like. And I don't want to taste it. I just want to taste it on this bread. It say, and they had some, like, with cinnamon in it as well. So, we'll see. I don't know. It's my first... Sometimes we have first. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's melting so good, y'all. I'm 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 excited about this, but I hope it's I hope it's good. All right, y'all. Let's start the timer. Y'all ready? Cause I'm ready. I'm ready to eat too. I'm really ready. We got some hot sauce over here, Louisiana. That is. But before I I, I do that, I want. I, I want to taste it. Y'all, look how pretty those potatoes are. Look at that. I did it in the oven, too. Oh, I did a, I did a cooking video, so y'all will see how I, I did it. Y'all, where my fork? No, here it is. And y'all already know my green beans. I didn't have any salt bacon, and I didn't have regular bacon either, but I did have my special Zumo Andali or Anduli or however y'all said sausage, so I browned them up. And with some garlic and onion. And of course, y'all already know I rinse my green beans out. I do not like that juice in the can. And uh, so, yeah, here you go. Mm hmm. Mm. That's so good. 
And as I told y'all, uh, Dion gave me um, the secret of um, Italian dressing uh, in your green beans, y'all. This is these green beans are delicious. I think I like them better with um, the sausages. Look at that.
Fork tender. Mm. Okay, y'all. Now we can talk. I was getting it in. It was so good, too. This butter. It says, uh... It's form, formed on, and it's been out since 1921. It is good. I would definitely keep that on hand. And I'm going to try their cinnamon as well. This is honey. So, yeah, it's always good to try stuff new. Cheers. Oh, when you eat that bread, though, it gets me so full. Y'all, today I had to put on paper to make sense why really am I moving. I want to see the cost of living here and the cost of living there. The only thing that I struggle with is that internet cost at $99 a month. And so I looked at mobile hotspot, 40 gigabytes, what a and -T offered me. But I work from home eight hours a day, five days a week. I don't know if that's enough. So if any of you here that knows about mobile hotspot, I have two working computers that I work from every day. I have my cell phone. I have Alexa. I have my TVs as well with my streaming uh, stuff like Netflix. And Sorry, I'm not sure. <laughs> I wasn't talking about her. Um, and I look, and I have a, 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 a streaming channel that I pay for every month as well. I just don't know what 40 gigabytes will do. So. That's my problem. But my figures on paper says I will save $412 a month once I pay my car off. And when I went to the building on yesterday, they said I cannot... Uh-oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I cannot... I know y'all saw that. I cannot choose another internet company because the building is already wired with CEO technologies. I went and looked at their reviews. It was 58 of them. And they were awful. From one year to two years, three years back, I saw a couple, three months that had four or five stars it wasn't many of them though y'all it was more of one and twos than was was fours and fives and the the biggest issue was connection 
they lose connection for two or three days. And I'm like, I can't do that. I work from home every day. I, I, I have to have the internet every day. So... I don't know if they have fiber because three years ago they didn't. They have it now. So I'm wondering, is it going to be fiber with the new building? Because fiber is all everywhere here. So my call with them tomorrow, that's what I'm going to ask them. Because I don't believe the regular internet connections were good at all. And then, I, I, you know, me and Dion was talking today. And I'm thinking, you know, and she said, you know, Depending on where you live, they have, you know, these new bills and new this and new that. They contract with these uh, internet providers. You know, where is the freedom that we can pick who we want anymore? Things are changing. Because of my savings every month. Adding $50 to what I pay now. If I have to pay that, I will. But I'm going to need my internet to be on every single day, every hour of the day, every day of the freaking year. Period. Like Beyonce, unless it's an ice storm or any storm, that is. And I just want to know what makes them so high. I sent them an email. I said, we have companies like AT&T, Xfinity, Comcast. I said, they are reputable companies and they don't charge near what you charge. And on top of that, if they charge that much, it's going to be some basic cable channels. You don't even offer that. What the hell service do you have? I emailed them. I told them that. Today. I tell them, I might have a lawsuit on my hand if you make me lose my job because I have to have your internet. Y'all some fat over here. I don't know if I want it. That's a big piece of fat. Look at that. Now, beef fat is pretty good. I don't really like pork fat. Excuse me. Uh, mm, 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 mm. So, yeah. I don't know. But every time I go to that building, I feel so good. The people that I met in the office are just so friendly, too. You know? Y'all know I'm not a big steak eater, but this pork steak is kind of thick. But it's good. I know y'all saw how I cooked it too. I would do it again. Actually, I looked at a girl that did these. Uh, don't ask me her name. I just stumbled on her. And I watched the video and I was like, oh, okay, let me do that. <laughs> Since I had pork steak in the freezer, well, that's all I have in the freezer. Because remember I told y'all, when I'm moving, I don't like to transport meat. Mm -mm. So, this pork steak was the last thing in my freezer. Well, I'm lying. I have one more bag of shrimp and one more bag of blue crabs. Oh, four. I don't know if I can eat this, y'all. And I got that other bread I put that butt on. You know, can't can't say that till tomorrow. Whew. I'm stuffed. Now, this was another good Sunday meal. Really good. <laughs> you know, I don't you know I, I told Deanna today. 
I don't know why I think everybody cook after church. <clears throat> that was something that we did as black people. I don't know what Caucasians done. I didn't live with them too much. Uh, but in my young days, that's what we were taught. It was tradition. To have a meal after, uh, well, growing up on the street, that's what they did. Um, because my mama, well, anyway, let's not go there. Uh, Sunday meals after church at the same table, everybody eating was the thing to do. And I never lost that tradition. I love eating. Uh, of course we, we did, you know, we don't have everybody coming over after church anymore because people have changed. So I think even for the holidays when grandmama and them cooked and great grandmama and them cooked or even your mama and once they pass away, families don't even get together like they used to when they were alive. So people are changing. But I, as long as I have health and strength and can cook, I'm going to always do a, a dinner after church. That's the only day I cook anyway. <laughs> It's on Sunday. And of course on Fridays what I mukbang on Fridays, but yeah, that's the only time I cook. Those two days. So now unless I get married or something. Married. Cause my boyfriend, he if I ever invite him to dinner, it's gonna always be on after church dinner, period. But um my husband might want a middle of the week if we don't have no more leftovers after Sunday. I'll cook in the middle of the week. Something small, that is. But delicious. Whew, yeah, we got three minutes. I am full. I keep looking at that uh that roll. That roll is so good and it's buttery. Because when I took it out of the freezer and put it in the baking pan, I did spread butter on the top before I baked it. And now we have the honey butter in the middle. It's really buttery good. I'm thinking if I, can I put the steak in there? Yeah. Let me eat a piece with a steak. I'll say that. Look, it's just wet with butter. Ooh. And it's so soft. There you go. I don't know why that fat keep following me. I clean my plate though. Oh yeah, here it goes. I'll try. I don't know what that is, y'all, but I gotta put my garbage out too. Mmm. 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 That butter really is good. I taste all that sweetness on this meat. So it's kind of like sweet and savory. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, after this, y'all can't eat no more because I'm, I'm really, really pushing this. That, that... I might want this roll with a uh, pan sausage and egg on here. Mmm. That's something to think about. Mm-hmm. Other than that biscuit, you know, what we used to. That would be good and small enough. Mmm. Mmm. That's it. I'm not going to even try to do no more, y'all. Get your voices ready. Get ready to sing after I make myself swallow this down. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's just cancel that time. I'm full. Thank y'all for coming. Don't forget to thumbs your hood girl up. 
Yeah. Oh. That biscuit, that ain't no biscuit. That's a roll. That roll is bomb. I don't know why all that noise at my door. I don't know if y'all can hear it though. But let's sing. We're going to sing their ass away. How about that? It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around. On the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this beautiful day. Do it good. Do it with purpose. And do it with what? Genuine love. And I mean that. Do it. It's free. And don't forget it feels good.